life. Okay. Bandayam Shri Gaurav Shri Atha Parakamlam Shri Gaurav Vaishnavam Sya Shri Rupam Sakrishatam Sagana Ragana Tambitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishikam Vitam Sya Oma Jnana Timaranda Sya Jnana Jnana Shilakya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama Gurva Bistam Supurakam Guraganara Sisha Sambushitam Chintya Chintya Samasta Veda Nipunam Shri Rupa Patanugam Govinda Abhidam Ujwalam Bharatanum Bhaktyan Vidam Sundaram Mande Vishwa Gurun Shah Divyad Bhagavat Prem Noe Bijapranam Devum Divyatanum Suchandabhananam Balarka Chelanshitam Sandrananda Puram Sadekavaranam Bhairagya Vidyambudim Shri Siddhanta Nidhim Subhakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Bharam Banditam Shubaram Marika Sharanam Nyashishvara Sridharam Mansha Kaupata Rubyas Chakripa Sindhu Bhyevacha Patita Nam Pavani Bhyo Vaishnabe Bhyo Namonama Namo Mahabharanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gora Tavishe Nama. So we're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Translation and commentary by Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. This is Adi Lila Chapter 8. The author receives the orders of Krishna and Guru. Bande Chaitanya Devam Tam. Bhagavantam yadichaya prasabam narjate chitram leka range jadopiyam. I offer my respects to the Supreme Personality of God, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, by whose desire I have become like a dancing dog and suddenly taking, taken to the writing of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, although I am a fool. Jaya Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Gorachandra. Jaya Jaya Paramananda Jaya Nityananda. So there you see Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami has written the most elevated Vaishnava scripture, but he says, I've, by, I'm just following the instructions of Mahaprabhu, and by, by whose desire I become like a dancing dog, and suddenly taken to the writing of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, although I am a fool. Jaya Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Gorachandra Jaya Jaya Paramananda Jaya Nityananda Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who is known as Gorasundar. I also offer my respectful obeisances unto Nityananda Prabhu who is always very joyful. Jaya 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 Dvaita Charya Kripa Moy Jaya Jaya Gadadhar Pandita Mahashai let me offer my respectful obeisances unto Advaita Charya, who is very merciful, and also to that great personality, Gadadhar Pandit, the learned scholar. Jaya Jaya Sri Vasadi Jata Bhaktagan Pranata Hoya Bandon Sabaracharan. Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto Sri Vas Thakur and all the other devotees of the Lord. I fall down to offer them respect. I worship their lotus feet. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami teaches us first to offer respect to the Pancha Tattva, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, Advaita Prabhu, Gadadhar Pan Prabhu, and Sri Vas Prabhu, and other devotees. We must strictly follow the principle of offering our respects to the Pancha Tattva, as summarized in the mantra, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasudhi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda. We always chant that mantra before we chant on Japa. They're representation, representatives for us of Sri Guru. So we chant Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasudhi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda. Now we can chant on the Mala. At the beginning of every function in preaching, especially before chanting the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra, uh, we must chant the Panchatattva's names and offer our respects to them. 
Mukha Kavitva Kore Jasabar Smarane Pangugiri Lange Andadeki Taragane. By remembering the lotus feet of the Panchatattva, a dumb man can become a poet, a lame man can cross mountains, and a blind man can see the stars in the sky. Thank you. So here, and it says a dumb man can become a poet. When they say dumb man, they're not referring to someone, it's not referring to someone who's stupid. It's dumb means someone who can't speak. Yeah. So a dumb man can become a poet, a lame man can cross mountains, and a blind man can see the stars in the sky. So, you know, this is the... Uh, Someone's dumb, they can't speak. If someone's lame, they can't walk. If someone's blind, obviously, they can't see. But by remembering the Panchatattva, a blind man can become a poet, a lame man can cross mountains, and a blind man can see the stars in the sky. In Vaishnava philosophy, there are three ways for perfection, namely, sadhana siddha, perfection attained by executing devotional service, according to the... Uh, practices, uh, nitya siddha, eternal perfection attained by never forgetting Krishna at any time. So let's see. Sadhana siddha, perfection attained by executing devotional service according to the rules and regulations, which means according to the practices of sadhana bhakti. Hmm. Nitya siddha, eternal perfection attained by never forgetting Krishna at any time, and kripa siddha, Perfection attained by the mercy of the spiritual master or another Vaishnava. Mm. Kaviraj Goswami here stresses Kripa Siddha, perfection by the mercy of superior Vaishnavas. This mercy, or superior authorities, this mercy does not depend on the qualifications of a devotee. By such mercy, even if a devotee is dumb, he can speak or write to glorify the Lord splendidly. Even if lame, he can cross mountains, and even if blind, he can see the stars in the sky. E sab namane je pandita saka tasabar vidyapata beka kolaha. The education cultivated by so called learned scholars who do not believe these statements of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita is like the tumultuous croaking of frogs. Well, E sab namane je pandita saka tasabar vidyapata beka kolaha. The education cultivated by so-called learned scholars who do not believe these statements of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita is like the tumultuous croaking of frogs. The croaking of the frogs in the rainy season resounds very loudly in the forest, with the result that snakes, hearing the croaking in the darkness, approach the frogs and swallow them. Similarly, the so-called edu educational vibrations of the tongues of university professors who do not have spiritual knowledge is like the croaking of frogs. <laughs> So, so higher education may teach you several things. It may teach you how to organize your thoughts and possibly how to write. But beyond that, I don't know how much, uh, how much is there. When you graduate, when you graduate from the university, you have a degree, then that enables you to get a, get a job. But the job does not depend really on anything you've learned. They'll teach you again according to whatever criterion they have. And then you become an indentured servant. For <laughs> <Or> life. <laughs> yeah. But here, it says, the education cultivated by so-called learned scholars who do not believe these statements of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita is like the tumultuous croaking of frogs. And they will, end, they will approach Chaitanya Charitamrita analytically, reading it as, as perhaps as some kind of a, a cross-cultural studies. But that, that kind of knowledge of Vaishnavism has been compared to licking the bottle, outside of a bottle of honey. Mm. 
They, they, by their analytical approach, they can never taste what's inside. Because why? Because, my, because this, this depends on some faith. So that someone can say, oh, you're saying that people should have blind faith. No, I'm saying that people should have faith, and by that faith they should get some realization. And if they don't get realization, maybe they're doing something wrong. Or maybe they're, maybe they don't have, the, yeah. I, but it's, it's not supposed to be blind faith, but you have to have some faith. It's like you have some, people have faith. Like, people are working. And then after they're done working, then they pay them. And what do they pay them in? Paper. But... Because that paper has the backing of the government, the people associate, yeah, with that paper I can buy whatever I want. So they have some faith in that, even though it's just paper. But they have some faith in that. Why? Because they have seen by results, oh, they pay me and then I can buy whatever I want. So they're, you know, they have some faith in that. Everyone has to have some faith in something, generally speaking. <coughs> Uh, generally speaking, unless unless they're just what would you call an overall to the bone cynic, in which case they may have no faith in anything, but that's some kind of faith also. Yeah, yeah walk without faith. All right. A sub namani jiva kori krishna bhakti krishna kripa nahitare nahitare gati. One who does not accept the glories of the Panchatattva but still makes a show of devotional service to Krishna can never achieve the mercy of Krishna or advance to the ultimate goal. If one is seriously interested in Krishna conscious activities, one must be ready to follow the rules and regulations laid down by the Acharyas and one must understand their conclusions. The Shastra says, Dharmasya tattvam nihitam guhayam mahajano yena gata sapanta. It is very difficult to understand the secret of Krishna consciousness, but one who advances by instructions of the previous acharyas and follows in the footsteps of the, what, the predecessors in the line of disciplic succession will have success. Others will not. Srila Naratam Das Thakur says in his connection, Shadiya Vaishnava Seva Nishtara Peyeche Keva. Unless one serves the spiritual master in the charyas, one must be liberated. Elsewhere, he says, Hi Gosai Jara Mui Tara Das Tassavar Padarenu Mora Panchagras. I simply accept the person who follows in the footsteps of the six Goswamis and the dust of such a person's. Lotus feet is not is my food. So in this way we, we're going on. I mean, I specifically have faith in the Vaishnava Acharyas who have who has taken us and and given us mercy. Now I'm sure that there I'm sure there are many gurus out in the world and many different processes, and they'll teach you many things and some some mercy may come in different ways if you believe that, but I don't know anything about them. I just follow, I just follow the Vaishnava Acharyas and the Vaishnava devotees. Others may offer some miraculous cure of some disease or mental obstruction, or they may take take somebody's resources, meaning money. But I I, I don't know who's good, who's bad. I only follow the, I only follow the. Uh, teachings of my spiritual masters, like that. I said masters because Prabhupada, Srila Sridhar Maharaj, Srila Govinda Maharaj, and many other exalted Vaishnavas who are associates of theirs, who are the associates of theirs and their disciples and the disciples of their disciples. I'm I'm happy with them. Purvijay che jarasanda ari rajagan veda dharma kore kore vaishnura pujan. Formerly, kings like Jarasanda, the father in law of Kamsa, strictly followed the Vedic rituals, thus worshipping Lord Vishnu. So, Jarasanda worshipped 
Lord Vishnu. So you might say, oh, he's a Vaishnava. No, not quite. <laughs> because he worshipped Lord Vishnu, but he couldn't, he hated Krishna. And he fought against Krishna 17 times. On the 18th time, Krishna was very bored and went to kidnap Rukmini, who is wife in Dwarka. She was being, she was going, supposed to, arrangement of her father and her brother, Rukmi, she was supposed to marry Sishupal, who was a demon. So she sent a letter to Krishna, please rescue me. Krishna left the battlefield where he was fighting with Jarasandha for the 18th time. And then Jarasandha proceeded to slander Krishna. Oh, and he called him Ranchor. Ranchor means one who runs away from the battlefield. But who would not run away from a, a bore, boring battlefield? He already fought him 17 times. What? <laughs> Krishna nahi mane tate daitya kori mani chaitanya na mani le taiche daitya tare jani. One who does not accept Krishna as the supreme personality of Godhead is certainly a demon. Similarly, anyone who does not accept Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as Krishna, the same supreme lord, is also to be considered a demon. Now, Prabhupada uses the word demon, which he pronounced demon. He's a demon. But he says here, first, anyone who doesn't accept Krishna as the Supreme Personality of God, it is certainly a demon. So that, you know, that kind of summarizes what we spoke about Jarasandha. He worshipped Vishnu and probably took care of some of the Brahmins and things like that. But he couldn't he he very much disliked Krishna. So who is he? A demon. And here Similarly, anyone who does not accept Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as Krishna, the same Supreme Lord, is also to be considered a demon. Now, we hear about Vrindavan Das Thakur, who in the Chaitanya Bhagwat says that if you do not accept the mercy of, uh, of Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu, then I kick you in the head. Now, that seems a very strong statement. So, that is... He, he's a fanatical follower of, of Nityananda Prabhu. But here it also says, if you, if, you accept, you, if you don't accept Krishna, you're a demon. If you don't accept Mahaprabhu, uh, then you're also to be considered a demon. So strong language. But this is not my language. This is the language of Krishna Das, Kaviraj Goswami, and all the charyas. So what can I do? Yeah. What would be the position of Vallabhacharya? I heard he didn't accept Mahaprabhu. He did accept Mahaprabhu. Yeah. He took initiation from Gadadhar Pandit. How could he do that without accepting? How how could he do that without accepting something of Mahaprabhu? He disagreed about Sri Swami and Bhagavatam. So he no, he disagreed about many things. He was trying to get some pratishta, yeah. and he always felt slighted in the assembly of of devotees, but that was his problem, and I'm not going into that. With the Pushti mark, though, don't they, doesn't... I don't know Pushti Tushti, I don't know anything, so anyway. Morena manile sab loka habenas iti lagi kriparda prabhu korila sanyas Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu thought, unless people accept me, they will all be destroyed. Thus the merciful Lord accepted the sanyas order. So, you've all heard the saying, familiarity breeds contempt, right? Many people, this is very common, at least I'll speak for many of us, growing up, when we reached an age of maybe 17, 18, 13, whatever, we all got to the point where we thought, oh, we know more than our our parents, our parents don't know anything. So that was a common sentiment, right? So, um, so that how that happens, familiarity breeds contempt. You know, even even small children, when they're told to eat their vegetables, they don't like that. You know, why should I eat this? 
They're giving me dal. I don't want to eat that. They're giving me green vegetables. I don't want to eat that. So when their parents insist, there's a certain amount of, no, I don't want to eat these things. I just remember that. I, there's an expression, if you're an employer and you want to employ people, you should employ 14-year-olds while they still know everything. So, but no, I'm just, it was, I don't know about that. Maybe in some cases, like, people's parents don't know anything in the sense that they think, oh, my son's or daughter's being brainwashed by these Hare Krishnas. <laughs> so, yeah. So in any event, familiar does breed contempt. So Mahaprabhu faced this. He grew up in Navadip, and he was Nimai Pandit, and, and he was a great learned scholar, and he defeated the Digvijay Pandit and everything. But when he started to show his uh, divine sentiments, then some of those who were his friends or not friends exactly, but who grew up in the village and considered themselves, oh, he's a Brahmin, we're a Brahmin, etc. So they thought, we, we don't, and now he's chanting and we don't need to follow this. So then they became, became rebellious. And then Mahaprabhu thought, actually I descended in this world to give people Krishna consciousness. But now these persons, they, they're, rebelling against me. There are certain persons. Maya, it says, Mahaprabhu inundated the world with Krishna consciousness. He caused a flood of love of Godhead. But he saw that some persons were floating, the Mayavadis and some of the students and this and that. So that produced, yesterday we heard the opposite. Who was it that was floating in the waves of Krishna consciousness? It was in the reading yet. And Oh, when you, yes, you, you were speaking about Haridas Thakur giving the holy name. So they're floating in Krishna consciousness. Different analogy. Here, he's flooding the world with Krishna consciousness and inundation. Also in Navadip, it, it floods. Navadip floods like maybe four or five feet tall, high, the flood, or more. Every, about every seven years, there's a big flood. During that time, we'd be in the mott and we'd float on banana tree trunks <laughs> and have sometimes water fights. But, so anyway, there's a flood of love of Godhead, but some people were floating. And those people were the uh, you know, impersonalist, those who don't believe in the form of God or form of Krishna, my, called Mayavadis. And also some of the people who were very familiar with Mahaprabhu, treated Mahaprabhu familiar, familiarly, because we know his family, we know him, what's so special about him. So he thought, I descended to this world to give people Krishna consciousness, but due to some familiarity, they are not accepting this. So then he thought, in that time, this was, what is it, uh, like f 500 years ago, more or less, there was still some culture. So if he would take sannyas, then that would shock people into thinking that, oh, he's not like us anymore. He's suddenly become a monk, a renunciate. So he thought, this will enable me to preach to the people. Now that's true of Mahaprabhu because he's the Supreme Lord. But if somebody comes to us normally and, and they say, I want to take sannyas. And you say, why do you want to take sannyas? And they say, oh, so people will respect me. No, that's not a good reason. You're not the Supreme Lord. Why should the people respect you? You know, you take sannyas because you want to, you want to preach to people, you want to uh, teach about Krishna consciousness. That's a valid reason. But not just because people will respect you. Who are you that, you, that people need to respect you? Now that, okay. Anyway, 
Mahaprabhu thought, unless people accept me, they will all be destroyed. Thus the merciful Lord accepted the sannyas order. Sanyasi bhujye more koribe namaskar, tatapi kanibe dukkha paibe nishtar. If a person offers obeisances to me, even due to accepting me only as an ordinary sannyasi, his material distresses will diminish and he will ultimately get liberation. So Mahaprabhu is thinking, to take sannyas, to break out of the normal mold of being in a village, growing up, you know, um, and, and being, he wanted, to, he wanted to give Krishna consciousness to the whole world. So he decided to leave that village life. And what was the means of him doing so? By taking sannyas, by becoming, you know, a shaved-headed monk, right? Then people will, anywhere a monk goes, that person will have some entrance, isn't it? Then. Then, well, I say also still now. I mean, I lived many, I lived years, as you live, more years, but I lived in India many years, and my experience was but I could travel almost anywhere in India, especially in South India, mm. and people would, you know, take you in to their house or give you a place or enable and allow you a platform for preaching Krishna consciousness. Yeah, India. Yeah, yeah in India. And sometimes we'd preach and they'd have Pando programs, 4,000 people or more. So in India, you know, India, there's still some remnants of the Vaishnava culture, and they'll give some uh, opportunity to the sannyasis. Okay. Hena kripa moi chaitanya na bhaji jai jan sarvatama hoileo tari asure ganan. One who does not show respect unto this merciful Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or does not worship him should be considered a diva, demon even if he is very much exalted in human society. Srila Bhakti Sananda Saraswati Maharaj says in this connection, O living entity, simply engage yourselves in Krishna consciousness. This is the message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Lord Chaitanya preached this cult, instructing the philosophy of Krishna consciousness in his eight verses, or sikshastaka, and he said, Iha hoi te sarva siddhi hoi be damar. By chanting the Hare Krishna mantra, one will get all perfection in life. Therefore, one who does not show him respect or cannot appreciate his mercy, despite all these merciful gestures, is an asura or opponent of bona fide devotional service to the Lord, even though one may be very much exalted in human society. The word asura refers to one who is against devotional service to the Lord. It should be noted that unless one worships Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, it is useless to become a devotee of Krishna. And unless one worships Krishna, it is also useless to become a devotee of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Such devotional service to be considered a product of Kali Yuga. Srila Bhakti Sananda Saraswati Thakur remarks in this connection that atheists, martyrs, or worshippers of the five kinds of demigods worship Lord Vishnu for a little satisfaction and material success, but have no respect for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, thinking him to be one of the ordinary entities they discriminate between Gaurasundar and Sri Krishna. Such understanding is also demoniac and is against the conclusion of the Acharyas. Such such a conclusion is a product of Kali Yuga. Ateva puna kahon ordva bahu kaya chaitanya nityananda bhaja kutarka charya. Therefore, I say again, lifting my arms, O fellow human beings, please worship Sri Chaitanya and Nityananda without false arguments. Jadiba tarkika kohe tarka se praman tarka shastre siddhaje se sebhyaman. Logicians say, unless one gains understanding through logic and argument, how can one decide upon a worshipable deity? Right? Unless one gains, unless one ga gains understanding through logic and argument, how can one decide upon a worshipable deity? 
Carson is Roger's line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This seems logical. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Doya Koraha Bichar Bichara Korite Chite Pabe Chamatkar. If you are indeed interested in logic and argument, kindly apply it to the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. If you do so, you will find it to be strikingly wonderful. Srila <laughs> Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur comments in this connection that people in general in their narrow-minded conception of life create many different types of humanitarian activities. But the humanitarian activities inaugurated by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are different. For logicians who want to accept only that which is proven through logic and argument, it is a fact that without logic and reason, there can be no question of accepting the absolute truth. Unfortunately, when such logicians take to this path, Without the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they remain on the platform of logic and argument and do not advance in spiritual life. However, if one is intelligent enough to apply one's arguments and logic to the subtle understanding of the fundamental spiritual substance, one will be able to know that a poor fund of knowledge established on the basis of material logic cannot help one understand the absolute truth, which is beyond the reach of imperfect senses. Bahujanma Korijadi Shravana Kirtan Tabutana Pai Krishna Pabe Primadan. If one is infested with the ten offenses and the chanting of the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra, despite one's endeavor to chant the holy name for many births, one will not get the love of Godhead that is the ultimate goal of this chanting. So, very. We're told to avoid namaparas, and when somebody takes initiation, they're given. These are the ten offenses. You please try to avoid them. Now, in some cases, some of those offenses may be difficult to avoid. You know, to, one is we've heard, even after hearing the glories of the of the holy name, to maintain material attachment. So, who is there that doesn't have some material attachment? very difficult. But if one chants in a mood of devotion and prays to the holy name, the holy name can take away that attachment. How can that happen? Well, one is, two ways, one is if one, one puts some Faith in the process of devotional service, they can become free from attachment. And two, in some cases, somebody's attachment for some shelter in the mundane world that may be destroyed, and then they're for, then they're forced to look for another more real attachment. Yanata sulabha muktir buktir yagyari punyata seyam sadhana sahasrar hari bhakti sadurlabha. By cultivating philosophical knowledge, one can understand one's spiritual position and thus be liberated. And by performing sacrifices and pious activities, one can achieve sense gratification in a higher planetary system. But the devotional service of the Lord is so rare that even by executing hundreds of and thousands of such sacrifices, one cannot obtain it. Hmm? So there, you know, there's some limitations, obviously, of philosophical knowledge and sacrifices and pious activities. In fact, we see many people who come to Krishna consciousness, they weren't even pious to begin with. They didn't have any piety. Why should they have piety? Some persons who come also don't have piety. But they take to <coughs> devotional service and associate with devotees, and they acquire some attraction. How many persons had some religious attachment before coming to Krishna consciousness? You can raise your hands, but you won't find one. 
By cultivating philosophical knowledge, one can understand one's spiritual position and thus be liberated. And by performing sacrifices and pious activities, one can achieve sense gratification in the higher planetary system. But the devotional service of the Lord is so rare that even by executing hundreds and thousands of such sacrifices, one cannot obtain it. Krishna Jadi Chuti Bhakti Bhukti Mukti Diya Kabu Prema Bhakti Na Dena Rakena Lukaya If a devotee wants liberation or material sense gratification from the Lord, Krishna immediately delivers it. But pure devotional service he keeps hidden. So if a devotee wants to wants enjoyment or even if he wants liberation, he or she, the Lord can give that very easily. Why? Because it's not so it's not so expensive. The Lord can distribute that very if someone wants that, okay, here, take it, go away. But devotional service doesn't give so so easily. Why? Because the Lord has a personal relationship with his devotees. You know, and who wants to enter a personal relationship with someone who is not really interested in having that relationship? Rajan Patir Guru Alam Bhavatam Yadunam Daivam Priya Kula Pati Kwa Chakingaro Vaha Astveva Manga Bhagavan Bhajatam Kundo Muktim Dadati Karichit Smana Bhakti Yogam. The great sage Narada said, My dear Maharaj Yudhishthir, the Supreme Lord Krishna is always ready to help you. He is your master, guru, God, very dear friend and head of your family. Yet sometimes he agrees to act as your servant or order carrier. You are greatly fortunate because this relationship is possible only by bhakti yoga. The Lord can give liberation, mukti, very easily, but he does not very easily give one bhakti yoga because by that process he is bound to the devotee. Sometimes he even acts as one, the servant of his devotee. In the case of Arjuna, he's driving Arjuna's chariot. Arjuna is his devotee, but the Lord is acting as, as his order, car carrying his order, carrying out his order. You are greatly fortunate because this relationship is possible only by bhakti yoga. What is this? What part? Now, what are we in? The Bhakti Yoga Retreat. Yeah. This is only possible by Bhakti Yoga. Hena Prima Sri Chaitanya Dila Jata Tata Jagai Madai Paryanta Anyaraka Kata. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has freely given this love of Krishna everywhere and anywhere, even to the most fallen, such as Jagai and Madai. What then to speak of those who are already pious? And elevated. So they, they're also, the pious and elevated, they can be brought in. Mahaprabhu says, what to speak? He's even given his mercy to Jagai and Madai. Now Jagai and Madai, they were drunkards, robbers, high, highwaymen, everything. It says in Chaitanya Bhagwat, there's just someone... They, they caused much trouble, and if they didn't like somebody, they'd just go and burn the person's house down. They were not very nice persons. But Mahaprabhu gave his mercy to them, Nity, specifically Nityananda Prabhu. Nityananda, very merciful, and he brought Jagai and Madai. But after they became surrendered to Nityananda and Mahaprabhu, then they became very saintly. They didn't continue with their impious activities, okay? Swatantra Ishwara Prema Niguda Bandar Bilaila Charitare Na Koila Bichar Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Supreme Personality of God and Himself is fully independent. Therefore, although it is the most confidentially stored benediction. He can distribute love of God to anyone and everyone without consideration. 
Adyapiyadeka Chaitanya Nama Jeloi Krishna Premi Pulakashru Bivala Sehoi. Whether he is offensive or inoffensive, anyone who even now chants Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda is immediately overwhelmed with ecstasy and tears fill one's eyes. Nityananda Bolite Hoi Krishna Premodoi Aulaya Aulaya Sakalag Anga Ashruganga Bai Nityananda Bolite Hoi Krishna Premodoi Aulaya Sakala Anga Ashruganga Bai Simply by taking Simply by talking of Nityananda Prabhu, one awakens one's love for Krishna. Thus all one's bodily limbs are agitated by ecstasy and tears flow from one's eyes like the waters of the Ganges. Well, these are advanced symptoms, you know, that not, when one is, when one actually becomes free of all material attachments and then one's heart will become softened and these kind of symptoms will show. Krishna nama kori aparader bichar, Krishna bolite aparader na hoi bikar. There are offenses to be considered while chanting the Hare Krishna mantra. Therefore, simply by chanting Hare Krishna, one does not become ecstatic. Tad ashma sharam ridayam bhatidam yad griyamanar harinama deyai na Vikriyatata janavikaro netrajalam gatra ruheshu harsha tarasma sharam ridayam batedam yadgu yamanar harinama deyai na vikriyata na vikriyatata janavikaro netrajalam gatra ruheshu harsha if one's heart does not change, tears do not flow from one's eyes, one's body does not shiver, one's bodily hairs do not stand on end, as one chants the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra, it should be understood that one's heart is as hard as iron. This is due to one's offenses at the lotus feet of the Lord's holy name. So, Eka Krishna Nami Kori Sarva Pap Nash Primera karana bhakti karana prakash. Simply chanting the Hare Krishna Ma mantra that without offenses vanquishes all sinful activities. Thus pure devotional service, which is the cause of love of Godhead, becomes manifest. So obviously what's being described here are stages of advanced devotees, of advanced persons who have, you know, developed some attachment to the lotus feet of the Lord who have given up mundane attachments, etc. Premara Udaye Hoi, Premara Bikar, Swedakampa Pulakari, Gangadash Rudar. When one's when one's loving service to the Lord is actually awakened, it generates transformations in the body such as perspiration, trembling, throbbing in the heart, faltering of the voice, and tears in the eyes. Ananya Ana Anayase bhava anai anayase bhava koi krishna ra seban ek krishna namer phale pai etadam as a result of chanting the hari krishna ma mantra one makes such great advancement in spiritual life that simultaneously one's material existence terminates and one receives love of god in the holy name of Krishna is so powerful that by chanting even one name, one very easily achieves these transcendental riches. Hena Krishna nam jadi loi bahubar, tabu jadi premanahe nahi ashrudar, tabe jane aparad tahate prachur, Krishna nam abijatahe nakore angur. If one chants the exalted holy name of the Lord again and again, and yet one's love for the Supreme Lord does not develop and tears do not appear in one's eyes, it is evident that because of one's offenses in chanting the seed of the holy name of Krishna does not sprout or grow. Right.
चैतन्य नेत्यनंदे न हे ए सब विचार नाम लोयते प्रेम देन बाहे अशुदार but if one only chants with some slight faith the holy name names of lord chaitanya nityananda very quickly one is cleansed of all offenses thus as soon as one chants the hari krishna ma mantra one feels the ecstasy of love for krishna so in the very beginning it is said that one should chant the holy names of panchatatva shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda shri advaita gadadhar shri vasudeva gaur bhaktavrinda then it says here but if one only chants with some slight faith the holy names of lord chaitanya nityananda like the panchatatva mantra one very quickly is cleansed of all offenses thus as soon as one chants the hari krishna ma mantra one feels the ecstasy of love for god mm. so it's important you know it's important to take shelter ma prabhu then you can do out some actual taste for chanting the holy name स्वतंत्रेश्वर प्रभु अत्यंत उदार थरिना बंजिले काबु न होय निस्तार श्री चैतन्य मा प्रभु दे इंडिपेंडेंट लॉर्ड हिमसेल्फ इज ग्रेटली मैग्नेनिमस अनलेस वन वर्शिप्स हिम वन कैन नेवर बी लिबरेटेड ओरे मूड लोक शून चैतन्य मंगल चैतन्य महिमा जाते जनिबे सको ओ फूल्स जस्ट रीड Shri Chaitanya Mangal by reading this book you can understand the glories of Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu now the Chaitanya Mangal that refers to Chaitanya Bhagwat by Shila Vrindavan Das Thakur he says ore muda lok muda means foolish ore muda lok lok means people oh foolish people oh foolish people just read Chaitanya Bhagwat by reading this book you can understand all the glories of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu so these are two important books about shri chaitanya mahaprabhu nichananda prabhu and their devotees one is shri chaitanya bhagwat by vrindavan das thakur and then uh, shri chaitanya charitamrita by krishna shila krishna das kaviraj goswami mm-hmm. now there are other very beautiful books but these are these are the central books about understanding mahaprabhu because they're written by persons who were associates of mahaprabhu then there are other uh, and they're very complete there are other books also by some associates of mahaprabhu like jagannanda pandit prema vivarta and their books but these are the central books chaitanya bhagwat and chaitanya charitamrita krishna leela bhagavate कोहे वेद व्यास चैतन्य लीला रव्यास वृंदावन दास एज व्यास देव इज कंपाइल्ड ऑल द पास्ट टाइम्स ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण एंड श्रीमद् भागवतम द कोर वृंदावन दास हैज डिपिक्टेड द पास्ट टाइम्स ऑफ लॉर्ड चैतन्य वृंदावन दास कोइल चैतन्य मंगल जहारा श्रवणे नाशे सर्व अमंगल द कोर वृंदावन दास हैज कंपोज्ड श्री चैतन्य मंगल और श्री चैतन्य Shri Chaitanya Bhagwat it's the same book hearing this book annihilates all misfortune so i'm trying to make that chaitanya bhagwat you can of course read it there you can get an ed- edition especially especially they have a published edition with all the shlokas and everything but i've also read chaitanya bhagwat in these morning classes and we've recorded every class and now the chaitanya bhagwat is complete wow. adikanda madhyakanda and anjakanda and those that complete chaitanya bhagwat have on a website of uh what is youtube wow youtube huh yeah Whoa. and it gives a description of each each of each general description of all the lectures what's covered in there how, how do you I you look that up for youtube you can look it up by going by looking for chaitanya charitamrita classes just that chaitanya charitamrita classes okay. and then you should see a picture of then you should see my unworthy picture there some circle picture and I'll say like 
you know. Then these, then you can go there and see hear hear that. I try to try to even when I travel, I come back and resume the same place, just like I'm now doing with the Chaitanya Charitamrita, so that you know people can hear the scriptures. And it's also done in like like this a class, not a classroom. Actually, it's called pot. It's called reading. It's a reading setting. But it's what's nice about it is it's read in front of people. So, you know. Okay. Chaitanya Nitar Jati Janiye Mahima Jati Jani Krishna Bhakti Siddhan Terasima. By reading Sri Chaitanya Bhagwat, one can understand all the glories and truths of Lord Chaitanya and Nityananda and come to the ultimate conclusion of devotional service to Lord Krishna. Bhagavate Jata Bhakti Siddhantarasar Likijachan Ihajani Koriya Udar. In Sri Chaitanya Mangal, later known as Sri Chaitanya Bhagwat, Srila Vrindavan Dasakur has given the conclusion and essence of devotional service by quoting the authoritative statements. He's, in Sri Chaitanya uh, Bhagwat, Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur has given the conclusion and essence of devotional service by quoting the authoritative statements of Srimad Bhagavatam. Mm -hmm. Chaitanya Mangala Shuni Jari Pashandi Javan Seho Maha Vaishnava Hoi Seho Maha Vaishnava Hoi Tatakan If even a great atheist hears Sri Chaitanya Mangal or Chaitanya Bhagwat, one becomes that person becomes a great devotee. Manushe Rachite Nare Aiche Granta Danya Vrindavanadas Muke Bhakta Sri Chaitanya. A subject matter of this book is so sublime that it appears that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has personally spoken through the writings of Srila Vrindavanadas Thakur. Vrindavanadas Pati Koti Namaskar Aiche Granta Kori Deho Tarila Samsar. I offer millions of obeisances unto the lotus feet of Vrindavan Das Thakur. No one else could write such a wonderful book for the deliverance of all fallen souls. Now I'll read another verse here. And then, Narayane Chaitanyara Uchiste Bhajan Taragarbe Janmila Sri Das of Vrindavan Narayani eternally eats the remnants of the food of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur was born of her womb. Oh, Narayani, when she was very young, Mahaprabhu <laughs> would give her his remnants, and then later she became the mother of, um, when she grew, was older, then she married and became the uh, mother of Vrindavan Das Thakur. But she, during her, when she was very young, she would give, she would take, Mahaprabhu gave her his remnants, offered his food from his plate. Now I'm also very happy, I've seen that many nice devotees have come from our Salt Lake City temple. And many of them are young devotees and They've taken the Krishna consciousness, and we're very happy seeing them. All of them are they're very nice, and it's nice that we have, you know, going on in Salt Lake City, nice, very group of younger devotees taking to this. Many of us are, are old, and in the last last year or two, so many of so many of my associates have passed away. But I can see that young devotees are coming. Here we have Abhiram Krishna too. So I'm glad that new person's coming and taking the Krishna consciousness. Okay. Here, here we have Jai Gorunga. Jaika Ranga Das, we'll say. It's from Salt Lake City. And Abhiram Krishna Das.
No, don't stop it. Oh, you're gonna. I'm gonna get a close-up. We didn't. Sh oh, but we didn't show any the deities. Later. Uh, later. Okay. People will get seasick from the shaking. Yeah, they wait. Hari Hari Nama Krishna Jadavaya Nama. Jadavaya Madavaya Keshavaya Nama. Gopal Govinda Ram Shri Madhusudan. Giridari Gopinatha Madana Mohan Sri Chaitanya Nityananda Sri Advaita Chandra Gananana Shiva Sadi Gora Matamina Gopala Bhatta Dasa Raguna Echai Gosai Kori Chanana Bandhan Gao Ite Vignana Shabhisa Puran Chai go sai jar mui karana Tasa bar bada reno mora manjaga Tare charana sevi bhakta sani bar Janame, Janame, more amilan. Janame, more amilan. H.I. go side, Jabe, Krishna, Nitya, Lila, Kori, Labrakan. Devolo Hari Baja Bindavan Sri Guru Vaishnava Bhade Majai Aman Sri Guru Vaishnava Padma Koryan Hare Nam Sankirtana Kohe Naratamuna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Ha 
परिकर श्री श्री गुरु गुरंग गंधार्विक गिरिदारी जो की जाए चाहे ओम विष्णु भान भरमंस भरव जाक चरी अष्ट अठारह सत श्री श्रीमान श्रील भक्ति सुंदर गोविंद देव गो स्वाई महाराज की जाए चाहे ओम विष्णु भान भरमंस भरव जाक चरिया अष्ट अठारह सत श्री श्रीमान श्रील भक्ति रखक श्री रर देव गो स्वाई महाराज की जाए चाहे भगवान श्रील भक्ति सुनंद सरस्वती गो स्वाई ठाकुर की जाए चाहे ओम विष्णु भान श्रील गौर किशोर दस बाबा जी महाराज की जाए चाहे ओम विष्णु भान श्री लाक्षी नान भक्ति बनाव ठाकुर की जाए चाहे ओम विष्णु भान वैष्णव सार्वभौम श्रील जगन्नाथ दास बाबा जी महाराज की जाए रूपनु का गुरु मार्ग की जाए नाम चार श्रील हरिदास ठाकुर की जाए श्री रूप सनातन बात रघुनाथ श्री जीव गो पाओ बद दास रघुनाथ सद गो स्वामी प्रभु की जाए प्रेम सि गो श्री कृष्ण चैतान्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदार हर श्री वासुदे श्री गौर भक्त वृंद की जाए श्री लकृष्ण दास कवि राज को स्वामी प्रभु की जाए श्री चैतान्य चरितामृत की जाए श्री लृंदावन दास ठाकुर की जाए श्री चैतान्य भागवत की जाए नरथम श्रीनिवास श्यामानंद प्रभु की जाए विश्वापरण्य जय ओम विष्णुपाद विश्वापरण्य शील भक्ति वेदांत स्वाई महाराज प्रभात की जाए जय ओम विष्णुपाद शील भक्ति निर्मा आचार्य महाराज की जाए अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जाए श्री नामदीप धाम की जाए श्री राम मायापुर की जाए सपर्षद श्री नित्यानंद प्रभु की जाए सपर्षद श्री महाप्रभु की जाए श्री को लिद्वीप की जाए श्री चैतान्य सरस्वत मत की जाए श्री चैतान्य सरस्वत मत की जाए सोकेल श्री चैतान्य सरस्वत से बाश्रम की जाए श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गो गोपी गोवर्धन श्याम खन राधा कुंड कलंदी यमुना जो की जाए समवेद भक्त वृंद की जाए श्री ऑल दी असेंबल दिवोतीज की जाए श्री राजा राम प्रभु की जाए श्री हरि बल्लभ प्रभु की जाए श्री कृष्ण श्राय प्रभु की जाए गौर प्रेम नंदे हरि हरि जय श्री भक्ति पावन जनार्दन महाराज की जाए Okay. 